Okay, so we're at a restaurant for the first time in downtown LaSalle called the Hayes Smokehouse. And Brent got some really, really delicious looking ribs. Yeah. How stoked are you for this? Very. And I got the pulled pork platter, which is just like this huge amount of pulled pork. Dude, it's really toast, cornbread muffin, mac and cheese. It's really cool because I think they use sea salt instead of iodized salt. They also have these sauces that I'm guessing they make in house. So we have bourbon, Delta Sweet, and sauce number one, sweet and spicy. My favorite one that I tried out of these three was definitely the bourbon, but I think that the sweet and spicy had the most complex flavor to it. How is it? it? Tears off, nice and easy, real tender. Awesome. Okay. Okay, so that was our first time eating at Hayes Smokehouse in LaSalle. What'd you think? I thought it was good. Uh, the ribs, as good as they looked, uh, but they were still pretty good. Uh, the fries, I really like the fries. The fries um, were good. I, I like the fact that they use sea salt instead of iodized salt. And it tastes then, different. Yeah, it does. And then the cornbread wasn't what I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> the cornbread tasted okay, but it was a little too dense for my yeah. for my liking. But um, the like softened butter that they give you along with it, I think the butter did make a big difference. But you didn't? Did you try it with the butter? Mm -hmm. I, did. I think the butter definitely made a big difference, having that moisture element to it. But all in all, it was very dense. And then my pulled pork was very very good. I know pulled pork's not really your thing, but <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but my pulled pork was really good. I just. Um, used a little bit of the bourbon sauce and a little bit of the hot and spicy sauce on top of it. My only thing with that was that like, I don't know, my bread to pork ratio was way off. Like there was just not enough bread to the oh, amount of pork. okay. It was a lot of pork. However, given the price, like it was under $50 for the whole shebang and I even got like an adult beverage and like my portion was huge. I'm very yeah, full. I like had a I'm, lot of meat on I'm my plate. Full. So I think it was definitely worth it for the money and it was a good first experience. Yeah. The atmosphere was also very yes, nice. Yes, very nice. Super chill, like super laid back. We were on the patio and it's yeah, a beautiful nice, like 70 cool. degree day out. Yeah. So all in all, that was really nice. Can you guys guess where we are? Okay, but not for real. I want to show you guys something. This is probably one of the cutest things I've ever seen. And it's insulated. These are so cute. Guys, look at how cute this pillow is. Oh my gosh, and these bookends are so adorable. Target is such a dangerous place for us, especially me. Especially this really cute little Disney set setup. Oh, these are so cute. Look at that, that is awesome. What else do we have? That is adorable. We just got some comforters and stuff. Really like this one. So one of the things that I've been wanting to get is a good water bottle, like good reusable water bottle that doesn't make stuff taste like metal or plastic. And they have all these like really nice looking ones. But I don't know. I just don't know what I want to go with yet. Preferably something that's clear though, because at work we have to have clear containers for any beverages that we have. Or like, I think something like these would be okay. You can still see the liquid inside it, like it's not opaque. But if you guys have any suggestions on like your favorite reusable water bottles, let me know. Oh, Brent found a gadget to play with. What'd you find? <laughs> We have an Alexa at home, we just don't know how to use it. But these Google Homes are pretty cool. This Google Home Mini is interesting. It doesn't seem, it seems more oval than anything. The quality looks really nice on this camera so far. Your quality looks really nice. Thanks. I think that's the nicest thing you said to me. Okay, so I gotta tell you, if you have kids or kids that you shop for on the regular, Target has some 
super freaking adorable clothes. Like, let me show you some of this stuff. Like, how freaking cute is this swimsuit? This one too, oh my goodness. And this little rash guard is so adorable, it has pineapples. Oh, I love it. Okay, so I was expecting this to be like some super cheap marble looking plastic thing, but this is actually like super heavy. And that's got some, like, that has some hella weight to it. Okay, so the main reason that we came to Target was, well, because I look like, I like looking around Target, but also we were looking for a new laptop for me for video editing because the laptop that I have now is just really old and it doesn't handle Adobe Premiere Elements as well as it, as well as it could. It crashes sometimes on me and actually the other day I lost like an hour of work and I don't know, it's just, it's time. I've had that laptop for a few years now. And then Brent doesn't have a laptop and he does need one for school. We can't really keep sharing. So it would probably, I think it'd probably just give him my old one. Um, but we didn't find what we wanted at Target. So we're gonna go to Staples now, which is actually what the guy suggested who works here in the electronics department. And I kind of forgot about Staples to be honest because the Best Buy that's closest to us is like an hour away. But on the bright side, it's not a total loss today because Brent is getting an OtterBox for his phone so he doesn't break it. So we decided it would be really funny if when we go out to Arizona to see his little sister's high school graduation, if Brent showed up wearing this awesome pineapple suit, which not only comes with the jacket, but also the pants and a tie. I'm pretty stoked, so he's gonna go try it oh, on. Oh, but we gotta figure out a shirt for it though. I would say, Some kind probably of... just a white shirt, honestly. You sure? What's he wearing? Oh, a white shirt, okay, white collared shirt. I would just go with a white collared shirt because All you right. don't want to detract too much from the pattern. <laughs> you, you've gotta wear that. How's it feel? Like, does it feel okay? Yeah, pants are a little tight, but that's okay. Um, I mean, obviously I'll have on a different a tie shirt, yeah, and a different shirt, but and it comes with the tie. I think that's gonna be awesome, dude. You can even wear your black checks with it too, and it would look good. You ready to uh, roll up into your little sister's high school graduation in a pineapple suit? Oh, dude, embarrassment all the way. One of these years, we're gonna go to Disney during Dapper Day. You're wearing that for Dapper Day. What's Dapper Day? Dapper Day is when everybody dresses up in their most dapper apparel, like their Sunday best. I think you've gotta to go to a Dapper Day wearing the pineapple suit. For sure. So it's definitely gonna get its use. Then we have to go to the Polynesian? Yes, Polynesian. And get the Dole Whip. They sell Dole Whip in Magic Kingdom. Do they? Mm-hmm. Well, I figured, I figured Actually, right by the Pirates because... of the Caribbean ride because I figured there because you know Hawaiian well you could always um, we have a reservation for Ohana when we take you and your sister for your birthday this year that's what you should wear to dinner done I will get a dress to match all Perfect. right good change okay show them the, sh the white shirt that okay. I found so she found a white shirt that has palm <gasps> trees has on it palm trees I think that's gonna be awesome underneath that yeah I think I think that looks really good yep so I suppose we're gonna have to hold off on our Staples adventure for now because they close at 8 p.m. on a weekday. Okay, anyways, um, Staples closes at 8 p.m., which I think is really weird for like a normal store on a weekday, but whatever, they're closed, so we can't look at laptops today. So we'll just have to do that a different day, which is fine. But um, for now, I think we're gonna go to Starbucks and then go home, call it a night. This was our end of the semester little date night and it was nice to bring you guys along.